Hi, good morning. In this video, we will discuss about the topic is the significance of viruses. So, in this video, we will learn about special details of the viruses role in vaccine production and biofesticides, biofesticide production and viruses act as a cloning vectors. This topic is a new syllabus in the degree first semester students. So, let us start the topic. So, the significance of viruses is the 10 marks question for essay question for degree first semester students. In this essay question, we will write the vaccine production in viruses and biofesticide in viruses and act as a cloning vectors in viruses. So, in this video, first we will learn about the details of the vaccine production in viruses. Vaccine production in viruses. So, what is vaccines? Vaccines, how to prepare the vaccines? So, vaccine is prepared from the causative agent of the disease. Vaccine is prepared from the causative agent of the disease. Agent of the disease or their products. Their products. So, Vaccines are prepared from the causative agent of the disease or their products. Okay. Generally, these vaccines are developed from the immunity system. Vaccines means simply to develop immunity. To develop immunity, immunity system in our body. Vaccine is to develop immunity system in our body. Vaccines is prepared from the causative agent. Causative agent means either bacteria or viruses. Causative agents means bacteria or viruses. So, vaccines is developed from the causative agent of the disease and their products. So, here vaccine definition. Vaccine is a substance that helps to protect against certain diseases by stimulating. Stimulating means activating. Stimulating the production of antibodies. Stimulating the production of antibodies and provide immunity immunity against a disease and provide immunity against a diseases. Once again, vaccine is a substance that helps to protect against diseases. Against diseases and stimulating means activating the production of antibodies activating the production of antibodies and provide immunity against a diseases so how to prepare the vaccines these vaccines act as a vaccines act as a antigens vaccines act as a antigens so one vaccines are injected to kill microbes to kill microbes that is bacteria or viruses in order to stimulate the immunity system against the disease and prevent the disease. Vaccines is injected to kill the microbes in order to stimulate our immunity system against the disease. Immunity system against the disease and prevent the certain diseases. So, these vaccines are act as antigens. So, once injected into the vaccine in our body and immediately produce antibodies. Immediately produce antibodies and to develop immunity. That is the process of the vaccination. Process of the vaccination chundi. Process of the vaccination. Once injected into the vaccine, these vaccines act as a antigens. Vaccines act as antigens in our body and immediately produce, immediately develop antibodies and to develop the immunity system our body. These immunity system to avoid the certain diseases. So, next vaccines types. There are many types of so vaccines are pre present, but mainly here given four types of vaccines. Many types of vaccines are present, but mainly four types of vaccines are given in our subject. And next, first one is the live attenuated vaccine. Live attenuated vaccine. Attenuated means weakened. Attenuated means weakened. So here vaccine, here virus is pathogen is attenuated and attenuated it means weakened so here weakened form of pathogen weakened form of 
pathogen are injected in our body weakened form of pathogen are injected in, in our body so this type of vaccines is used to protect the viral diseases like measles mumps and rubella these three diseases are given single vaccine mmr vaccine measles mumps and rubella measles mumps rubella three types of diseases given single vaccine that vaccine is the mmr vaccine measles mumps and rubella vaccine and the another one is the smallpox and chicken pox smallpox means already you know rashes and uh, rash, rashes fever headache these are the symptoms of the smallpox and chicken pox so once again live attenuated vaccine attenuated means weakened so here pathogen is weakened pathogen is weakened so the pathogen is either bacteria or viruses so weakened form of pathogen are injected into body how to weaken form the pathogen it given the formaldehyde treatment formaldehyde treatment the pathogen are we can now many times given formaldehyde tre treatment then the pathogen is the weakened so here t taken the vaccine is the weakened form of pathogen in our weakened form of pathogen injected in our body these type of vaccines is used to viral diseases like a measles mumps rubella these three diseases given single vaccine mmr vaccine measles mumps rubella and small fox chicken fox small fox means rash small rash, rashes and fever headache these are the symptoms mumps means here um, parotid glands are swollen parotid glands are swollen Mom, small fox ch chicken fox is same symptoms next one is the inactivated vaccine inactivated vaccines means here pathogen is inactivated here pathogen the pathogen is inactivated so killed version of killed version of disease causing viruses here taken the killed version of viruses so these type of virus vaccine is used to protect the diseases like hepatitis a and polio and rabies hepatitis a polio and rabies what is the symptoms of hepatitis a hepatitis a it is related to related to the liver damage so liver disease like a jaundice jaundice means um, yellow skin uh, skin become yellow and eyes eyes yellow color and dark urine these are the symptoms of the jaundice so hepatitis means it related to the liver disease like a jaundice and next polio polio means like a paralysis polio means paralysis in this polio given vaccine is the opv opv viral polio vaccine viral polio vaccine is given by the polio viruses and next rabies rabies means dog bite rabies means dog bite this disease caused by the pathogen is the dog bite rabies is caused by the dog bite okay and second one inactivated vaccine inactivated means killed version of disease causing viruses first first vaccine weakened form of pathogen so the viruses is treat the weakened form here viruses is the killed version killed version of disease causing viruses examples hepatitis a polio rabies so this vaccine is used to this type of diseases and next third one is the subunit recombinant vaccine subunit means small specific pieces of the pathogen here using specific pieces of the pathogen for example here one see the definition subunit part of the pathogen virus so subunit part of the pathogen viruses for example corona virus corona virus in this viruses taken specific part taken specific part using the vaccine so here taken the specific parts of the pathogen 
and using the vaccination taken specific parts of the are specific uh, parts or subunits of the pathogen body and using the vaccine treatment vaccine treatment like a, it is a covid 19 structure in this structure taken specific parts and uh, in this uh, specific parts in this type of vaccine is used to diseases like a hepatitis a and uh, whooping cough whooping cough hepatitis a already discussed here like it a um, liver damaging like a jaundice it show the symptoms like a jaundice and whooping cough means cough fever and sneezing these are the symptoms of the whooping cough this is subunit recombinant vaccine is used to who's having poor immunity system who's having pure immunity system and long term health problems this is subunit recombinant vaccine is used to common in mostly in who's having pure immunity system and long term health problems so this vaccine provide long immunity system and long immunity response and next fourth one is the toxoid vaccines toxoid vaccines means toxin is made from the germ that causing a disease so toxoid vaccines is prepared by formaldehyde treatment prepared by formaldehyde treatment and and number of times exposed to high temperature high temperature the pathogen is formed to top pathogen is formed to toxoid and this toxoid is using the vaccine preparation this toxoid is using the vaccine preparation this type of vaccine is protect the diseases viral diseases like diphtheria and tetanus diphtheria and tetanus diphtheria what is the symptoms of diphtheria diphtheria means uh, poor hygiene and and uh, improper sanitation pure hygiene and imp improper sanitation and vomiting fever these are the symptoms of the diphtheria tetanus means painful of muscles muscles stiffness painful of muscles these are the uh, fever headache these are the symptoms of the tetanus once again toxoid vaccine toxoid vaccine means toxin is developed from the pathogen or bacteria pathogen means bacteria viruses viruses toxin is developed from the pathogen like a bacteria or viruses so this toxin is using in the direct vaccine production this type of vaccine is used in the diseases like diphtheria and tetanus so how to prepare the toxin by giving the formaldehyde treatment by giving the formaldehyde treatment formaldehyde treatment and exposed to temperature high exposed to high temperature many times then the formation of toxin toxoid from the vaccines this toxoid is directly using in the vaccine production these are the types of the four types of the vaccines types of the vaccines live attenuated vaccines inactivated vaccines subunit recombinant vaccines toxoid vaccines attenuated means here pathogen is pathogen is weak in form of pathogen using in the vaccine vaccine production here pathogen is a killed version of killed version of pathogen is using in the vaccine production here using small specific parts of the pathogen body using specific parts of the pathogen body in production of the vaccine here using toxoids of the pathogen toxoids are directly using in the vaccine production so process of vaccine is this vaccine act as a antigens once inject into the vaccine in our body they act as a antigens and our body immediately produce antibodies antibodies these antibodies to develop the immunity system so that's why they avoid the certain diseases and prevent the diseases thank you so much for watching this video